Yo, what is going on guys? This is our fifth day in Hawaii. Not gonna lie, I do miss my gaming setup. Right before we left, I just became addicted to H1Z1 and Rainbow Six Siege, but it's really, really cool to get some sun, some vitamin D, because that's something I definitely don't get. Even though I live in California, I'm really wasting my environment around me. But right now, Jenna is inside getting some famous Kona coffee, I think it's called. I don't drink coffee personally, but she was really, really excited and she was talking about it. So she's inside doing that. I wanted to turn the camera on and talk to you guys. So today we are gonna be heading to some sort of canyon. Apparently, it's like the Grand Canyon of Hawaii. It's about an hour drive away. I was telling Jenna yesterday, it's really strange to think that we're on an island surrounded by water. And it's not like you're in Florida and you can drive all the way to California. To get back home, we have to get on a boat or a plane. Obviously, we're getting on the plane, but it's just, it's just a strange thought knowing that we're surrounded by this gigantic body of water. And it answers to nobody. All right, guys, we have made it to our destination. We are 3,500 feet up in the air right now, 3,500 feet above sea level, and we're heading to the scenic outlook. The drive up here was absolutely insane. I wish I had something different than a Jeep like the M3 or any other car. Oh, this is steep. We're about to get a really, really good view right now. It's massive. Michael Scott. For anybody wondering what we've been whipping while we've been here in Hawaii, we've got the Jurassic Park Jeep. Obviously, it doesn't have the soft top. And I think the one in Jurassic Park was red. Uh, you guys that are fanatics of the movie might kill me for saying that because I really don't remember the original Jurassic Park that well. Don't kill me. Oh, you're brave. We went to fly the drones and I just don't think it's gonna happen. It's very windy, there's magnetic interference. And then we thought, okay, this is probably a bad idea. Let's get it, let's go. Because I still think we're in the state park. We're not sure if it's legal. All right guys, Jenna and I just went on a mission, a journey. We went onto like an unmarked path hoping to find this gigantic cliff that's on the beach next to our hotel. Jenna was very nervous, she was very scared. She said we should turn around, turn around, right Jenna? Well, you kept saying that your dead body was well, gonna be found. Did you see some of the sketch plots? There were some sketchy things happening on this path, and it went through the woods that's unmarked. Like I said, we don't know this area. But somehow, some way, we have found the cliff, and we think we're on the correct path now, and we're gonna be up on this thing pretty soon here. We're here. And yes, Jenna does have to spin in circles to calibrate her drone's GPS. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be really, really bright. Jenna is flying her drone, it's over here. Maybe you'll see some of the footage in this vlog, uh, but this is a really, really cool spot. Yeah, go Jenna. Hey, don't, hey, we, back up off the edge of the cliff, hey, all right? We don't want you to be shark food. She's flying. I'm trying to take pictures of her. She doesn't want me to. She doesn't think I'm skilled enough in photography. I'm just kidding. I don't want and those. here we see a drone flyer in her natural habitat. Get anything good? I, I don't know. I want to go over there. There's people. So I don't want to be like, hey, what's up? I refuse to get sand in the socks in the Ultra Boost. Can't do it. What was that episode of SpongeBob? Stepping on the beach, doot, 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 doot. Stepping on the beach, doot, doot. How's it go? Uh, something like that. Stepping on the beach, doot, doot. I don't know, I haven't seen SpongeBob in so long. What's going on guys? Another day in Hawaii or another day in paradise. Actually, most of my day has been spent inside. Jenna has already been to the pool, she's been on a walk, but this morning for me was something that I had to get done and that's editing. 
Uh, yesterday, you guys saw the first vlog of me in Hawaii, even though that we've been here for five days. I've just been kind of kicking it back and relaxing. But now it's about four o'clock and Jenna and I have some plans. I think we're gonna go get some ice cream and then we're gonna grab dinner and then we're gonna find some more cool places to fly our drones and to take some pictures. That's been one thing that I've really, really enjoyed while being out here is just, it's so beautiful. I know I've talked about it a million times, but I mean, damn, I just look at this view. I mean, there's not many places where you can open up your door and see this. So I'm just trying to take it all in while I'm still here. And I think we're gonna get a lot more of this when we leave the hotel. So let's go. We don't wanna waste any more daylight than we have already today. Let's boogie. Hey Jenna, how would you rate your experience spending the day without me today in Hawaii? <laughs> Was it better, worse, the same? Well, it wasn't the same. It wasn't better. It wasn't worse. So it was basically just like I was just existing. I went to the gym. I went for a walk at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. That's a, that's just not a vacation. I was a lot more fit without you. 7 a.m. is not a vacation. 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. You know how much I got done Rolling by? out of bed, hitting the pool for a daiquiri, just doing Wait, nothing. But. What? You slept late. I did. You didn't hit the pool. I was you editing. In the room. I, well, I haven't made any videos, so. I had so, to. So wait. All right. So never. Wait, wait, wait. I never should have asked this no, question. No, 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 no. Well, I'm like, I, I, I gotta it. shut your mouth up with some ice cream. <laughs> All right, guys. So Jenna and I right now are on the hunt. Well, we're in pursuit of somewhere good to fly these drones. There's a lot of private back roads that we're not sure if we're necessarily supposed to be driving on, and we're on one of those right now. I'm going slow because it's completely off road. There's no paved roads and uh, I think we're on private property. So we're not sure if it'd be the best idea to get out and start whizzing around with the drones. Um, but Jenna's currently whizzing around on her phone looking for somewhere good to go. Yeah. I think it might be a little bit of a journey though. We're just trying to figure it out. I mean, look at this view though. Oh, it looks way better with my eyes, but the mountains are right ahead of us. And let me give you guys an idea how bumpy this road is. I really don't want to drop this camera. Oh man, here we go. We're, we're really off road here, guys. So we're gonna go find something and uh, keep you updated. It looks like we have reached another dead end. Unfortunately, no beach access. Keep the gate closed at all times. And this building over here to our left, it looks like it's like an abandoned mill of some sort. It looks really crazy. I wish we'd go up in there and explore and take some cool pictures, but I don't think that'd be a very good idea. I'm not James Kingston, unfortunately. You would not believe the conversation starters that drones are. There has been so many people that have walked by on the coast here with us and asked about them. We actually went and scouted out the rest of the coastline to see if there was another beach that this uh, husband and wife could access. It was really, really cool. They were really nice people, but not gonna lie to you guys. I'm pretty sure Jenna and I might have stumbled upon somebody with our drones. Two people having sex. Not even kidding. Pretty sure they were doing it on the beach somewhere because they came walking down behind us and we're in a really, really secretive private area of the coast. And they said, hey, uh, you guys are the one with the drones? We were looking for you. I'm like, yeah, 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 uh, that's us. Then the woman asked, do those have cameras on them? And I'm like, yep, they sure do. Just trying to get some cool shots of the sunset. So then she walked away and then the guy stayed and he actually kept talking to me. And then again, about a minute later, he asked me, so those have cameras on it. We were looking for you guys. We weren't sure who had the drones. We thought you were looking for us. I'm like, no, sir. We were just trying to get some cool shots of the sunset. And uh, so that was interesting to say the least. Let's just say that conversation was pretty damn awkward. I wanted to make them feel safe though that no, we were not looking for them. No, we did not want anything to do with what you were doing. We also spotted a whale in the ocean. I'm not sure if Jenna got on the drone, but he came up a couple times. I don't think I've ever seen a whale in person. It was really far away, but just to say that we saw it come up to the surface, that was incredible. All right, everybody, I'm Dr. Neek. I don't know why The Simpsons just popped up to my head. I used to watch The Simpsons every single night at five o'clock and 5.30, actually, King of the Hill at four o'clock and 4.30. Now it went that 70s show, then it went King of the Hill, then it went The Simpsons, and then Seinfeld was on. No, oh man, I goofed. Okay, let me, let me start over. It was 
Seinfeld, then The Simpsons, then King of the Hill after that. I used to watch that every single night. I haven't watched it in a very, very long time. Jenna and I are here for some ice cream. We just had dinner. It was very, very good. We had Italian, spaghetti, lasagna, and now we're at Lamp Perch Ice Cream and Coffee. We're gonna check it out. Guys, I am absolutely exhausted. Being out in the sun, doing all that exploring and hiking and eating, it was a really, really, really fun day, but I am so ready to jump into this bed and get some good sleep. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed the Hawaii adventures. It's been a lot of fun for me. We're gonna be heading home tomorrow, but I've had a blast. Sorry for the lack of vlogs, but I just wanna kick back, relax, and enjoy the vacation. It's almost grind time when we get back to LA though. Thanks for tuning into the video. I hope you have a wonderful day in YouTube. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye. Oh,